Right, so hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Um, you might be thinking, Jake, I thought you were taking a week on break. Um, the more and more I sat and thought about it and contemplated taking the week break, the more and more ideas came to my head and I wanted to get them recorded and out there. And then the more and more I thought about that I didn't want to take the break, I just wanted to continue and and your amazing amazing support has wanted me to, has made me continue so i'm continuing um this video is gonna be one that's going around the community that i will be continuing the trend of and that is the top 10 tag uh that i know that jamie powell uh movie bug and magpie movies has done uh they're all all three of them brilliant youtubers brilliant guys and magpie movies has tagged me so I'm going to give you my top 10 from each genre, which is adventure, comic book, horror, sci-fi, action, animated, romantic, comedy, and drama. Um, they're going to be in a random order. I don't know if there's a particular order to do them in, but yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the very first Indiana Jones movie, The Raiders of the Lost Ark, for my adventure movie. I just think all these uh, Indiana Jones movies are brilliant. Uh, they all have such a fun element to them. And they all have a really, really good story. Uh, but I am going to go with The Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, which is my personal favourite of the Indiana Jones movie franchise. So that is my movie for adventure. My movie for comic book movies. Now, if you've been on my channel from the very start, you know what this movie is. Uh, this movie is in my veins. I talk about. I cannot stop talking about it. This movie has almost been out for 15 years. The Dark Knight. Yes, this is my favourite movie of all time. And I could talk about it for hours and days on end. But uh, the main reason I love this movie so much is because of Heath Ledger's performance. And uh, because of how good Christian Bale was in this movie and how good all the actors were, were in it. Gary Oldman and the speech that he had at the end of the movie, the cinematography, the action, it was all so incredible. And to see this in IMAX when it first came out was such an incredible experience. So my comic book movie is The Dark Knight. My drama movie is one from 1992. And it's only a movie I watched for the very first time in the last month. And it is a Martin Scorsese movie. It can only be one thing. Goodfellas. This movie is absolutely incredible. Um, I held off watching it for quite a while because I didn't know if I was going to like it. And wow. What an amazing, amazing film. Martin Scorsese done an, an incredible, incredible job with this movie. And it's made me appreciate Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci so much more. I've never seen Ray Liotta in a movie before. So it was my first experience with him. Uh, he's done a brilliant job as the main role. But in these two, I've seen in many films before. Mainly, more notably, uh, more comedy-driven movies. Not so much movies like this. But this movie is just absolutely incredible. And if you haven't watched Goodfellas before... You need to watch it. So that is my pick for drama. Goodfellas. Um, I will just quickly say, I did do a top 10 favourite movies of all time list. And I've watched so many more movies since I've done that top 10 list that I'm now in my top 10. So I will be re-updating that list. But the next category is action. Now, uh, this was an easy pick for me. I know a lot of people would probably say Terminator 2. I'm sad to say I've never seen Terminator 2, but I will be getting around to watching it. I know probably a lot of people would say the first Die Hard movie, although they might say that for a Christmas movie. Uh, but I have to go with my gut, and my gut instinct always says to me, Bad Boys 2. Bad Boys 2 is my favourite action movie of all time. This, uh, this movie has the most expensive car chase scene in any movie ever. I think it totaled up to 13 cars being destroyed a plane a, and a boat I think that's what it was and it totaled to so much money but it's not a 
just about the action in this movie. It's the chemistry between Martin Lawrence and Will Smith that makes this movie even better for me. And the comedy aspects as well, and the heartfelt family story that's behind this movie that makes this probably the best action movie I've ever seen. I could have put Casino Royale in there, because I do love Daniel Craig's first James Bond film. But I'm going to stick my gut instinct and say my action movie is Bad Boys 2. My favourite horror movie of all time. Now, this one was quite harder. Uh, because there is obviously a lot up there. There's the Friday the 13th remake for me. Uh, there's the original Halloween. There's the Halloween remake. There's Saw. They're all up there for me. But I had to go with an absolute classic from 1979. Um, a Stanley Kubrick movie. Now, most people would probably call this a thriller. I'm sticking with horror. The Shining. Uh, again... I only watched this for the first time last year and I was instantly in love with this film. This film is utterly, utterly incredible. Stanley Kubrick, I've come to appreciate so much more for his filmmaking and I have watched more of his movies. If you've seen from my past uh, collection updates, I picked up Clockwork Orange in 2001 A Space Odyssey. I've watched them. Again, they're incredible. They may not crack the top ten, but they are incredible movies. But this does. This movie, for a horror slash thriller movie, in the time that it was made, was absolutely phenomenal. The person, the, the young actor that plays um, Danny in this movie, brilliant. Uh, I forget her name, but the person that plays Wendy, she's so, so good in this movie. Uh, Shelley Duvall, that's it. Shelley Duvall's brilliant in this movie. And of course, Jack Nicholson as Jack Torrance. So many quotable and iconic moments from this film. This movie is just such an incredible, incredible movie. So, for my horror movie, is The Shining. My animated movie. Now, I was very tempted to go for uh, Peter Pan, the original Peter Pan from 1954. I was so, so tempted to go with that because it was probably my most watched film when I was a kid. But over the past two years, this has become my favourite because of what it is the lego batman movie now this is a movie i didn't expect to like and i had such a fun time with it it's such a good movie it's not of course it's batman of course i'm gonna like it but um it was it was parts where they was taking the piss out of the dcu movies and how bad they are uh, around this time because there wasn't one when this film was made and the animation in it is so, so good. And the voice work is so good. Um, so I just had to go with this. So my animated pick is the Lego Batman movie. My pick for comedy. This was probably the hardest choice I had to make. Because my favourite uh, sub, sub, sub genre of movies is comedy. I've loved comedy for years. Ever since I've started watching movies, comedy's always been my favourite. I like stupid things. Uh, so my favourite comedy movie is This Is 40. Now, it's sort of an unscripted sequel to Knocked Up, the Judd Apatow film. And this is also a Judd Apatow film. And it's sort of an unscripted sequel. It has two of the same actors in it. Uh, Leslie Mann and uh, Paul Rudd. You can't hate either of them actors. It's just so, so funny. Um, you've also got Jason Segal in this movie. Um, Melissa McCarthy pops up for a cameo, who's a great comedy actress. There's, there's just something about this movie that's just so, so funny. You've also got people like John Lithgow and Megan Fox in this movie that pop up for cameos. Or oh, like small roles, and it's just so funny. If you haven't watched this, this week, definitely watch it. It's so funny. Now we move on to my favourite sci-fi movie. And what else was I going to pick? Uh, if you know me, you know I love... There's three things I love. I love Batman, I love Marvel, and I love Star Wars. I absolutely adore Star Wars. Um, and if, you don't, if you've never seen my first video, this was... I ranked each Star Wars movie. And my number one, and my number one for this video, is The Revenge of the Sith. Uh, I just absolutely love Revenge of the Sith it's one of my favourite movies of all time uh, but actually in the 
top 10 ranking of my favourite movies of all time. It was second. That's probably changed now. But oh, the action sequences and choreography and cinematography in this in the Revenge of the Sith is so incredible. And the film's so gripping but heartfelt at the same time. And you just have so many emotions. Not only with yourself but with your characters at the same time. And you connect to them so much that it just makes the movie so, so much better. So my sci-fi pick is Revenge of the Sith. So the last two movies is Romantic and uh, Western. The, roman the Romantic one I, fi I found quite difficult um, because I don't watch many romantic films. But uh, this is sort of a rom-com, but it is romantic at the same time. And it's a five-year engagement with uh, Emily Blunt and Jason Segel. It's one I'm never expected to like, to be honest. And it was actually quite surprising. It was quite funny. Uh, in parts, they had Jason Segel and Emily Blunt had great chemistry on the screen. Um, yeah, it's just quite funny and romantic, romantic at the same time. Um, yeah, it's but it's basically about a couple that uh, get engaged and they're engaged for about five years, and I think every time they try to get married, something goes wrong. So yeah, it is. It's very funny, and it's made by the producers of *Bridesmaids* and *Forgetting Sarah Marshall*, which are two brilliant comedies. So, yeah, my romantic pick is *The Five Year Engagement*. And the last pick for me is *The Westerns*, and I had to go with this Quentin Tarantino film. Uh, it is probably one of his most beloved Tarantino films, and that is *Django Unchained*. Um, the chemistry between all the characters in this, the uh, and the actors, and uh, the, the the writing and the action and the, just everything about this film is so good. And I think this is where Leo DiCaprio deserved his Oscar. I think this is where he deserved it. That or Wolf of Wall Street. Um, but th this movie just sums up Tarantino for me. And this is just one of the best westerns I've ever seen. So my pick for westerns is Django Unchained. So, those were my picks. Those were the categories that I was given, or the categories that are given. I went through all my films from my favourite categories, from romantic, to comedy, sci-fi, action, horror, animation, and drama. I'm, I think I'm forgetting one. But yeah, those were my picks. Now I have to pick five people who I'm going to nominate. Now I do apologise if I've missed, uh, if I've mentioned someone that has already been mentioned. I, I just thought of five names up at the top of my head who I haven't heard been nominated. So number one is Mr. Alex Pitt. He nominated. Uh, number two is Robert Fett's Bounty. Uh, you're nominated, son. Uh, Mondo Chedovic Movies uh, or John. You've been nominated. Uh, my good friend Film Flick, Josh, you've been nominated. And Ollie Loves Films, you have also been nominated. So, all five of you have been nominated. Again, I do apologise if uh, any of you have been nominated before. Those are my five picks. You don't have to do it, but it will be good to continue the trend and get everyone involved in the Bluetooth community. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for listening to my top ten uh, for my favourite picks. Um, please make sure you do like, comment and subscribe so you do not miss a future upload and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.